Hello, I'm Jason Ziskowski at the Snohomish County PUD. I manage the substation engineering department here at the district and, is, and have also acted as the project manager on the district's first energy storage project, MESA 1. All right, we are now inside Hardison substation looking at the battery container. You can see the battery modules behind me. These battery modules were provided by Mitsubishi GS Uasa. There's a total of 240 battery modules in the whole container. Uh, 12 different strings containing 20 modules in each string. The voltage ranges on each string between 700 volts DC when it's fully discharged to 1,000 volts when it's fully charged. We're now looking at a different section of the battery container. You can see behind me the uh, disconnects for each string. These are the DC disconnects that allow each string to be electrically isolated. And then also back on the back wall you can see the battery management system for each string. Once again, that's looking at the cell voltages, temperatures, uh, and current. We also have uh, arc flash detectors throughout the container so that if there is some sort of electrical uh, arc or flash in there, those will detect that and then immediately trip all the breakers associated with the system and de-energize it. We are now inside the battery container. You can see right behind me the FM200 fire suppression system. There are a total of five fire alarms in the container, two of which you have to activate at the same time in order for the FM200 to be activated and fill the container with the gas. The gas then evacuates the container of any oxygen and suffocates the fire. With lithium ion batteries, there is a risk that the batteries can go into a thermal runaway in light on fire. So the district has worked closely with the Everett Fire Department to ensure that they're aware of the risks and the concerns and also know how to respond in case there is ever a fire at the site. We are now standing in front of the power conversion system. This was provided by Parker Hannafin, and this system converts the DC battery power to AC. Obviously the electric system is AC and so there has to be some way to convert the power from DC to AC when the batteries are discharging and then AC to DC when the batteries are charging. We are now standing in front of the control cabinet which houses the One Energy control system. You can see right here to my right the main computer and the HMI. The main computer control has all of the uh, algorithms on it that are used to implement the use cases, the use cases uh, include renewables integration, peak shifting, power factor correction, and so on. This control system is built in compliance with the MESA standard and will also receive funding from the state of Washington through the Clean Energy Fund for all of this work. The district looks forward to more projects with the state, mainly MESA 2, and continuing to explore the viability of the MESA standards through the Clean Energy Fund.